Welcome back to another lesson on Windows Active Directory. In this demonstration, I will show you how you can create home folders for your users. Before we create any home folders, we need to make sure that we have a root folder which is shareable within your network. To do that, I will open the file explorer within your Windows Server 2022 or Windows Server 2019, navigate to this PC and find a hard drive space where you can create the root folder. For me, it is just the C drive, but you may have other hard drive spaces where you can create this root folder. So you can decide where you're gonna put based on your needs. So for me, is it, it is just going to be the C drive. So I'm gonna go into the C drive and then I'm gonna create a folder called home folders. To do that, I'm gonna right click, select new, select folder, and I'm gonna call this home folders. So now this is going to be our folder where all the home folders for users going to reside. This is right now is just a regular folder within your Windows Server. I need to change some properties here to make it shareable and use it within our network. To do that, I'm gonna select that folder, right click, select properties, and in here, I will go into the tab option called sharing. And in here, do not select the option called share right here. Instead, underneath it, there's an option called advanced sharing. And I'm gonna select advanced sharing here by clicking that button. And I'm gonna select share this folder. So I'm gonna enable share this folder. And just underneath it, in the settings, it will have a share name. Now, for human readable, easy to use, I just created the folder as home folders, but for network use, I don't like having white spaces. So instead of having home space folders, I'm gonna put an underscore here. And at the end of this share name, I'm gonna put a special character, which is the dollar sign. And what that's going to do is it's gonna make this root folder uh, invisible to your end users. So in other words, this is still a shared folder, but the end user won't be able to navigate to this particular location by entering the location of this shared folder. So I just basically put a dollar sign at the end so that it will be invisible to your end user, cannot access by the end user. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this button called permission and you will have groups or usernames listed here. You might have multiple groups or usernames here, but what you need to do is select the option called the everyone, and under everyone group, we going to change from read access to full control. So that means everybody in this uh, server will have the access to change and read within this uh, uh, home folders uh, shared folder. Then I'm gonna select apply and okay. And in here also we have a comment section. So if you have multiple shared folders, you have the ability to put notes so that it is easy for you to keep track on. For example, I can say this is for home folders of users in AD. So now if uh, someone else comes along, another system administrator, they can quickly view the comments and they know exactly what this folder is used for. I'm gonna select apply here and click okay. And now we have a network path with the home folders. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going into the tab called security, which is the next tab. And in here, I'm gonna click on this option called advance. You will see that in the advanced security settings for this particular folder, 
there are multiple inherited uh, attributes that been added by the Microsoft Windows Server. So you see that we have the Active Directory users showing up here with the read and execute and special permissions. We don't want these two options up here. So to remove those options, the first thing what we're gonna do is I will select disable inheritance. And in this block inheritance window, I will select the option called convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this object. And once you have done that, you should select these users options, these two users, um, you know, types, and you should remove them. So I'm going to select users read execute, remove, users special, remove. Then I'm going to apply these settings and click OK. Next, I will go back to the sharing tab and then I will select this path, this network path, and then right click, copy. So now it is copied to your clipboard. The reason why we do right click copy here because I'm gonna use this information to now add the, the user folders to this particular folder we created. Then you can close this window. And as you can see in this home folders, there's no folders created right now for our users for Active Directory. And we're gonna automatically create them once we enter the needed information. So to do that, what we will do, we'll go into your start menu, open server manager, go to the tools section and open Active Directory users and computers. Now, the way that I'm going to add the home directory for my users is going to be uh, by adding them all at once. So if you have hundreds of users, like if you have hundreds of users with, and groups uh, within your uh, organization, it's gonna be pretty hard for you to add each one at a time. So right now, if I pick any of these users, for example, if I pick Amanda Peterson, for example, if I go to profile, they don't have a home folder. So instead of going one at a time, going into profile, changing the, you know, the home folder here, there's an easier way to do uh, it for all of your users. Now, if you have all the groups and users and everything a mix, what I would do, I will click on the types and I will sort by type. That, what that's going to do is going to sort everything uh, based on the type. So you'll have the groups uh, and the users separated. Next, I'm going to select all the users in my Active Directory. You can do this either by clicking on an empty space and dragging the mouse cursor until you have selected all the users or select the first user, hold on to your shift button and select the very last user, which can be done after you have done a sorted sorting by the type because all the users should be in one location. Once you have selected all your users, right click, go to properties, go to the tab called profile and in here turn on the home folder and then select the option called connect typically the home folders are associated with h drive letter so i'm going to use that naming convention uh, which is used by many organizations to connect um, the home directories and then i'm going to paste that network path, the shared network path that I have uh, created in my previous steps. So I'm going to paste that. So that's going to be my server slash slash server name slash home folders with that dollar sign. Then I'm going to put another backslash. Then I will put a, the special character percentage username percentage. What this is going to do is that it's gonna create a folder within the home folders uh, shared folder with each of these users username. So that's what these special characters do. So it's a percentage, username, percentage. So it is the network path, uh, then the folder path, the shared folder path, and there we're gonna put the percentage, username, percentage. 
and then we're gonna say apply and okay now if I go back into my uh, C drive in my example and go to home folders you will see whole bunch of folders these are the folders uh, home directory folders for all of my users and the reason why they have things like apt001 eaa001 etc etc is because if i go back into my active directory users and computers and if i select one of my users let's say randomly james uh, i pick on james and if i go to his uh, account his user login is jbe001 so these folders are created based on their user login name so because his user login name is jbe001 the home folder for him would be jbe001 right here so now these users have home directories which are connected to their h drive because if you can go uh, if you select any of these users and go to the profile tab and you can see that it automatically changed that percentage username percentage to their username uh, at the end of this uh, uh, you know path right so you can select any one of them so you can select for example this sing if i go into his profile and you can see so he has mbs002 etc etc so whatever their username path is now attached to their home directory path so the next thing what we're going to do we will go and see if a user can access their home directory so if i go up to my windows uh, 11 machine and i have the user abesekara employee abesekara log into his computer already so if i enter his password i will show you something uh, that may go wrong and if i go into his uh, computer uh, file explorer and if i go to this pc his home directory is not there the reason for that is what happened here is that you created your home users directories in your windows server and you have attached them to each user so each user have these folders however because this user has already logged into their computer the group policies and the directories have not loaded onto his computer so what you need to do is once you have created the home directories you need to let your users know uh, that you have just created their home directories and the easiest way to get the directory showing up is to ask the users to log out so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to uh, sign out so it's not locked you need to make sure that your user doesn't use the option called lock or switch user instead of sign out that will completely disconnect from the server and then we're going to ask the same user to log back in now during this process that directory information now going to get populated now if i open his file explorer and go into this pc i see his uh, home folder which would be eaa001 right here so what i'm saying here is that if your users do not see their home directory right away ask the users to log out and log back in and that should populate their home directory now if i create a file in here so let's say if i create a text file this is a test file and i can put some comment in here this file is located inside the windows server 2022 home directory folders and then if i save this file this file is not located on this user's uh, local computer this file is now located within the home directory for this particular user and we can check that for example this user's login name is eaa001 so that would be his home directory uh, you know for that that particular user so if i go back into my windows server 2022 if i open the location in which we have uh, the 
the home folders are located. And if I go to EAA001, I can see the file that he has created, which is that this is a test file. And if I open it and I see this file is located inside the Windows Server 2022 home directory folder. So I can see that for a file, uh, uh, you know, clearly inside his, um, you know, shared home folder. So all of these users will have access to each of their individual home uh, folders with the H drive letter attached to it, just like this one of the users that I showed you. So this is the H drive letter right there, H drive letter. But however, none of these users will have access to the each other's home folders. In other words, the Active Directory domain controller have secured in a way that each of these users won't be able to access other users' data, but each of these users can access their own data located within their own folders. For example, if I want to access Amanda Peterson's uh, data, as a system administrator, I can, but the other user, for example, Abesekara EAA001, won't be able to access, see, or save any files on Amanda's folder. So that's how you create home directory for your Active Directory users on Windows Server 2022. The same principles applies to Windows Server 2019. If you have any questions or concerns regarding any of the topics that I have covered today, feel free to contact me. Please make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a nice day.